Hey everyone, it's Steve at PSAP Railroad, Puget Sound and Pacific. Just giving you a little update on my layout. So stay tuned and see what I've got done. All right, everybody, a quick video update here. I got the tank farm, which is for the uh, corn starches and corn oils and grains that they use for the bakery over here. You can see here, I went ahead and put in some piping, weathered the building a little bit, um, got some hoses down there. I don't know if this is exactly accurate. I'm sure Jack-Jack will tell me. I got some vacuum tubing there for um, pressurized uh, hoppers to come in and load up. Um, so hoses, that hose there is for the tank line, which you can see over here I put in, did a little bit of uh, weathering on it. And then next I came in, I changed up the way the building is actually gonna be set due to the way that things have to work and I'll show you. So I came up and since this is a single conveyor belt system, so the same conveyor belt feeds this conveyor belt, but I also needed some place to drop stuff. So I put in a couple little drop zones. The black one over here is gonna be for the rocks, aggregate and sand. This side over here is more for the concrete or the cement um, and ash and so forth. Um, I'll doll that up a little bit more when I get done to it. And then you can see here that um, we have a walkway that kind of covers up the conveyor belt so they can go in there and do maintenance. And then the actual tower feeds into the end of the conveyor house up top now. And uh, we'll feed the conveyor and all the chutes down there. So that's kind of what I've been up to lately on the layout. You can see here I've redone the parking lot, trying to get that smoothed out a little bit more for the trucks, the same with the road a little bit. Um, you can see that this is actually all on polystyrene on this side. So all of this is gonna be filled up with stone. This section down here is going to be grass and, and foliage and stuff. Um, it'll be all mucked up a little bit. This here, I believe I'm gonna just stone the whole rest of it with the stones that I have. And I stoned a bunch of this over here and I'll do the same on that side. Um, stone around the buildings and then we will put in some foliage on this side and more rock down along through here to put everything into place. So. As you can see, that's pretty much uh, what I've been doing on the layout. Um, got some more things to do. Need to have the plaster dry so I can come do some sanding on it and uh, paint it up and finish off that. But I thought those look pretty decent for little drop hatches. Yeah, they'll work. Um, so that's what I've got. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the second part of this update while I was listening to um, Sparky the other night, I decided let's go ahead and finish off some of the groundwork and all. So we got the filling station, right? The transfer station all done. So we've also put in all the stone that needs to go in there. Got the dirt done on the far end. Um, we even put in a little pathway here for the, uh, the track mobile to get up off the tracks at whatever times. Um, we came in, finished off. As you can see, the dump trucks still got some piles of rock that they're bringing in there. And uh, we've got other things going on. Uh, the rollers rolling out everything that's going down. They're still sending rock around with the... Uh, with the little cat um, tractor there. And then we also got over here and was able to finish off where the, uh, yeah, cement plant's at. So you see we got the cement plant in. So we've got basically all of the rocks done. We got the plant being done. And then over here, I don't know if I showed it in the last video, but I put in the dumping bins. So this bin here would be for sand and concrete. That bin over there, which is a little bit bigger, is for the rocks. 
The uh, deck plate and all that is actually where the underground conveyor belt is for everything else. And then, see we got our concrete trucks in. We've got the parking lot redone. Still have some uh, more landscaping to do. And then over on the corner, decided to put in a generic building. Uh, we're going to go over the building in a, in a uh, mail call and all that, but it's just a little building I got on the side. And so what's nice about this building is I can just display trucks over here because it's, it's just a basic building on the corner. I put a cement pad down for it to sit on. Then the trucks themselves and all you can see are off on the corner. And it's just a generic yeah, you know, shop, whatever. So the nice thing about this is I can put different things in there. I can put my police cars out there once I put down the actual parking lot, which I'm not sure if I'm going to make it rock like that one over there or go ahead and pave it. But that's uh, the latest on the up on the layout. Um, I will be having a big mail call um, coming up soon. And along with that mail call, I will announce the prizes and so forth for the drawing that I'm going to have in a couple of weeks when I reach 150, if I can get there. I've been hanging out at like 120 for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll post another video in a couple of days. Thanks a lot.